Hey everyone, just wanted to come on here real quick and talk a little bit about the whole Michael Long situation and what's been going on with him. A whole lot's been revealed in the last week. Michael and Courtney are now over. He's got a new lady at the ranch. Actually, there was two women at the ranch. We'll get into that in a minute. And also, the receipts for the GoFundMe were shown. Both of Michael's attorneys have now recused themselves, and he's pretty much trashed his whole custody case. Not only that, but he's also lost about 100% of his supporters, including Annie and Will. And he has also aligned himself with some Kelly supporters, and that is including his new lady love. Let me break down a small timeline summary of events. It all started off on January 18, 2021. Critical K had a live stream titled, Where's Courtney? Announcing that Courtney and Michael had broken up. Then on January 25th, Critical K had another live stream titled, Long Ranch Tea Time, where she announced that Michael had a new girlfriend. Then on January 26th, Paige from Real Talk 2.0 had a live stream where she sort of had an interview with Michael and his new girlfriend slash community manager. And I say sort of had an interview because it wasn't really a questions and answers type of interview. It was more her providing a platform for them to talk about their new group they started. That live stream in itself triggered Will and Annie to go live later that night and call Michael Long out. Then on January 27th, Critical K had a live stream titled, Who is Elisa and what has KC been doing? Where she got into more details regarding the new girlfriend and the breakup with Courtney. Then on January 28th, Critical K had another live stream, and this live stream was titled, Is There a Kidnapper at the Long Ranch? Where she addressed the other lady that's been staying at the compound with Michael and Elisa. Between the 27th and the 28th, there were a few other creators that went live regarding the situation. Three of those creators are Queen B, Callie with the T, and Chrissy from Save the Drama for This Mama. Links to their channels will be in the description. Then on January 29th, Critical K and Ten to Life both went live at the same time. Ten to Life had updates, and she had a little bit of audio from a fight that Courtney and Michael had. However, Critical K had about an hour of audio from the same fight. Then on February 2nd, Callie with the T went live and did an interview with Marlena, who is the other lady who had been staying at the compound with Michael and Elisa. On the same day after that live stream, Paige from Real Talk 2.0 also went live with Marlena and also her son Jeremiah. That about wraps up the small summary of events. In this video, I'm going to be talking mostly about the GoFundMe and the creators that supported Michael Long. However, when wrapping up my video, I will be sharing some opinions on Michael Long and his situation. Anyhow, moving forward, let's start with a clip from Annie from 10 to Life's live stream from January 29th. Also, I saw a couple comments in here asking me about what I was talking about in Will's live the other night about a setup. Um, so I'm not going to go into tons of detail, but I will tell you what I was referring to. Um, so he admits that it's her stuff yet. He made it out to you. Uh, well, yeah. When I confronted him about the stuff, he said it was Sophie's right. Um, so the setup that I was referring to, um, in Will's live the other night, I had said, like, as Will and I were chatting kind of one-on-one, -on -one, I said, you know, hey, Will, and you remember, too, I started getting bad vibes back in November when that whole, like, setup thing started. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And apparently a lot of you guys not only heard that, but kind of held on to it a little bit. So the setup I'm referring to um, is regarding another creator. So this was... In November, before we went on, before we went live with the attorneys, Michael had pitched to me an idea to essentially set up another creator, um, the very creator who was spamming this chat earlier, trying to set her up and feed her secretly feed her false information so that she would like go live with it, all of this stuff, so then she could get caught in a lie and be shut down like this elaborate scheme um and my response right away to it was and i which i have receipts for because we talked about it on the phone and then i followed up via text and i have those receipts to show my um response to that was no i don't agree with what you're doing and if you do choose to do that path because you feel like it's what you want to do and the right move then I will no longer be involved in this. And this was previous, this was before I did step away from the case a month later or two months later, whenever it was. Um, now, 
And right away after I had this phone call, I called Will and I think I called Josh too. And I said, I don't know what to do. Michael just pitched this scheme to me to basically set Kay up to like catch her in a lie. Like I told him, hell no. I told him that like, I'm not trying to play dirty like that. I don't want to lose my credibility like that. I'm not interested in that. If he wants to do that, then he needs to find somebody else to support him go forward because I can't be involved in it. The first thing Will said to me was, I have your back 100%. If he, if he does it and if you walk away, I'm walking away too. And Josh said the same thing. He was like, yeah, I'm not getting involved in that. That's playing dirty. So at that point, we had, Josh and I had already been in communication with Michael to do the live with the lawyers. So I had followed up with Michael like a few minutes later and said, hey, I filled Josh in on what you said and what I said. He said he's in alignment with me. If you feel like that's what you got to do, go ahead, but we're out if that's the case. Um, and I said, think it over. Cause he was planning to like do it that night or the next day. And his plan was to basically like use one of his mods. I think, I think Tim and Tim, I don't even know if you were aware of this or not, but his plan was to use like his most trusted mod to basically pretend that he turned on Michael and then like feed all of this information to Kay and then Kay go live about it and like be caught with like her foot in her mouth and all of this stuff. Um, Anyways, so when I told him, like, no, Josh isn't into it, I'm not into it, it's not happening, he basically said, like, I think you're right, we won't do it, we'll move forward as planned and, like, do the live with the attorneys and this and that. But the reason that I had brought it up the other night with Will is because that's when I first um, started kind of just not feel like, kind of just like, oh, like, I need to pay more attention to what's going on here because... I didn't like that because despite what my opinions of this creator are, how much this woman trolls for me all the fucking time, which it's like, get a fucking life. No offense, but you're 50 years old. Like quit making photoshops of me and making every single video about me get a life. Um, regardless my beef with her, like I'm not trying to set up another creator for a massive takedown. I have more important things to do. And truthfully, I just don't care that much. Um, but anyways, that was the first instance in which I started to not feel right with things. And then, of course, as you know, I ended up stepping away fully from Sophie's case in the middle of um, December because of some other certain things that, you know, came up that I didn't uh, that I wasn't in agreement with. Um, and I still had at that time told him I would be happy to help him behind the scenes and I, anything I could do to help them in that regard. But I, that I didn't want to speak publicly on Sophie's case anymore, which is still true. And everything I'm speaking about today isn't in regards to Sophie's case. It's all about this bullshit that Michael Long is involved in. Before I comment on that clip, let me play you one more. Everybody and like I felt he was playing you and like we've not always agreed on cases and I think let, let, let me be clear about something he 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 never played me I played along but it was always in the back of my mind that he was possibly what his adversaries made him out to be uh, and I made him I, I was clear about that with him. I, on personal conversations, I was like, you know, uh, at any given time, man, if you slip up, you know, uh, people are going to know about it. You know what I mean? So don't don't underestimate anybody. And and what's funny is the whole time I was saying this, hoping that he would look at that as, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this for my daughter and I'm doing this for my other kids. I'm doing this for my wife, uh, you know. Uh, but when, when it came down to it, you know, he ran out of money and, 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 and here's the thing. Let's talk about that for a second. Right now. Um, Annie showed the, the, the receipts for the GoFundMe and the GoFundMe, it went to the lawyers. The majority of it went to the lawyers and, and, and to close for the kids and, and things of that nature, which is what it's supposed to go to, right? So they didn't misuse the funds. Uh, Michael didn't misuse the funds. But the thing is, though, you know, I mean, what good is that? Yeah, what, 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 what good is that? Would you turn around and you and you? You you cheat on the the woman who is the backbone behind this whole thing because I've spoken to Courtney privately and Courtney has done so much for these kids. She's done all the digging. She's the one whose digging made me question a police department and be ready to take on 
a police department. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I was ready to fucking fight a police department. He was manipulating her, and like on Kay's channel, they were um, kind of bagging her as well. But I don't, I don't agree that... Um, I, I'm not in any Facebook group. I think Kay has said that Courtney docks Kelly and that she was saying some pretty low-down things about Kelly. So I just saw none of that. I'll address those shady-ass GoFundMe receipts in a minute. Right now, I want to talk about the creators. Okay, let me get this straight. Will and Annie both thought that Michael was shady since November 13, 2020? Are y'all serious? Because as of today, it's February 5th, 2021, and y'all just called him out last week for cheating on his wife. You guys calling him out had nothing to do with your feelings of him being shady over that bullshit setup he wanted to pull. That in itself is shady, because you guys continued to support his cause and shield him from any criticism and push his GoFundMe. That is shady. And it's not like you guys were suspicious of him because of some gut feeling or some hunch. He actually presented you with some crazy idea to try to set up another creator. Now let's move on to those half-assed GoFundMe receipts. Let me play you a clip. Screenshot. So you can see here, and I get before anybody goes crazy saying anybody could type this into Excel, these are cells that are directly and pasted from online banking, but also I'm going to show you some cashier's checks as well, and she's getting me more receipts as we speak. But this is to at least kind of, you know, put everybody at bay for a minute so I can at least give you some answers. So here you can see that there's quite a few charges dating all the way back to August for the law firms, also for some visits to the doctor because we know that there were doctor's visits counseling visits things of that nature on 916 you see that there is a huge cashier's check for forty thousand dollars to jamie graham and associates which we know was their legal team and some of you are saying it's too small is it too small here okay let me pull it up this way can you see here um so here you can see all of these big ticket items okay so let me now, I'm going to pull up another one where we start totaling it out. And then I'm going to pull up the cashier's checks. So here's another one. You can see here that there's more doctor's visits. There um, is another payment that was made to Jamie Graham and Associates. And right here, the total is rolling to roughly 160000 So... I remember I told you guys in one of the lives that we did with the attorneys that um, Jamie had confirmed to me that they, she had recently received a $40,000 cashier's check from them, which aligns with this. Um, family court is very expensive. And so, um, oh, yeah, if you guys can't see it, turn your phone sideways. That'll be you'll be able to help. Um, but it's rolling to 160. And this is only including the big ticket items, such as the lawyer fees and some of the doctor's visits. This doesn't account for, you know, school clothes or groceries and things of that nature. Not that the GoFundMe should 100% go to things like that, but you get what I'm saying. Like, this is a big chunk of money. Um, and I don't think GoFundMe takes a portion out. I could be wrong, but I don't believe it's tax because it's donation based, but I could be completely wrong. Um, so now I'm going to just show you a couple of, she's getting the rest of these for me, but just to give you guys an idea. So like, here's one of the cashier's checks that you can see for 54,000 pay to the order of Jamie Graham and associates. Let me get another one. Here's another one. Here's the like receipt you get at the bottom of it for $41,600 from October. This is the one I think Jamie was talking to me about. So hope, hopefully, um, shall I, thank you. I try, I try to keep it collective and cool, but for the most part, but sometimes I just can't help myself. So um, on top of lawyer fees, there's also paralegal fields and whatnot. It gets very expensive. Yeah. And so... I mean, here's a couple questions that I have right off of the bat. First of all, I love that she was transparent and just sent this stuff because it shows that she has nothing to hide. But also then I question like, well, why didn't Michael share this a long time ago? Like, I, I just don't understand because it's literally, it seems like such a simple thing to do to shut people up who are questioning where the money went. Um, 
But anyways, so I wanted to share that with you guys. And as I get more receipts and more statements and more check cashiers, check proof, I'll let you guys know. And I'll show you that just so that if you did donate to the GoFundMe, you feel secure about where your money went. But also to, um, for those of you who are not comfortable and want to ask for a refund through GoFundMe, of course, go ahead. That's your choice. Okay. I feel like there's a few things wrong here. The first one being that why can't she get all the receipts together at one time? And being that attorneys usually give you your itemized receipts via email, she should have been able to get those right away and all of them at one time. Also, where is the $52,159 that's not accounted for? That's not including PayPal and Venmo. I think that Will and Annie are really making a big mistake on taking Courtney's word for anything because she stood by Michael through all of this bullshit. I think it's hilarious that neither one of them want to cover this case anymore. The reason why they don't want to cover this case anymore is because they're embarrassed. Anytime Michael gets brought up and Will's on panel, he's like, I don't want to talk about this. Oh, this this case is over with and blah, blah, blah. Oh, wow. No, you don't want to talk about it because you defended him and Truthy. Truthy's another one he doesn't want to talk about. Defended them endlessly, like wouldn't stop. Balls to the wall defending these people. These are the people you surrounded yourself with, Will. And as far as Michael Long goes, the mess he's got himself into should say a lot about his character. The fact that his wife only left for 30 days, a woman he's been with for, what, five years? And he gets another girl out there and calls her a community manager. And then he gets another woman out there. That That is something I forgot to address. The other woman he had out there was wanted by the law. There will be links in the description to the interviews with both of those ladies. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I wanted to speak on the audio that Critical K put out for just a minute. Listening to that audio was insane. At first, listening to it, I was like, how is this happening? Is this some sort of setup? This is crazy. How is Courtney and Michael arguing in the house and this community manager, alleged girlfriend, recording them? And the, some of the things they were saying were horrible. They were talking about each other's parenting and, you know, oh, you did this and you let the kids do that and blah, 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 blah. And then the community manager, girlfriend lady, actually told Courtney to leave her own house. Then Jeannie, Michael's mom, called the sheriff on Courtney, which in my opinion wasn't necessary. I don't even think Courtney was acting that out of pocket, honestly. If that was me, if I was Courtney, woohoo, I would have uh, been a lot more destructive. Let's just say that. Then Michael creating that new group with some of the admins being the mom supporters. It was really, really weird. It just felt like he was trolling. And then he went on to say that he wasn't happy with the other group. He had created an echo chamber and it's time to build bridges because the other group was counterproductive. Counterproductive raised you a quarter of a million dollars plus. The most sad thing about this whole thing, Sad and not so surprising is that a lot of these people are not ready to let go. They are still believing the little girl's claims and not even taking into consideration that she could have been manipulated. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the video right here. I might do a video on just the GoFundMe because I feel like $52,159 should be accounted for and I feel like it's quickly being dismissed so people won't ask questions about it. Just because Annie and Will are saying, yeah, you know, she was really transparent and the funds were not misused means nothing. There's still a whole big chunk of money out there that's not being accounted for. And that's not counting the PayPals and the Venmos. Anyhow, I hope you liked the video. Love y'all.